who at the age of 12 went to the World Championships. The age of 13 went to the World Championships and then virtually disappeared. Now the skating world has found Tracy Wayman and Tracy Wayman has found the world and I'm sure there's a tear and a lot of eyes as this 18 year old making this comeback goes through it tonight. For me, Johnny, I think it's about the bravest thing I've ever seen in figure skating. Usually the the emotionalism of the loss is something that many people can never overcome. Here comes the triple sow cow. I'm so happy for Tracy. This must be such a, a personal thing for her, this performance, because so many people counted her out. And I know that we're so only one minute into the program, but that was a big step for her psychologically to get that triple done in competition. She is so sure going in and coming out, it's almost unbelievable. Coached by Ellen Berka, out of the Toronto Cricket Club, I'm sure all Canada at this moment has fingers crossed for Tracy Wayman. No question, she's the emotional favorite. Ah. <laughs> and she's one of the few Canadians that can go to a world championship and do her compulsory figures as well as anybody. One of the best in the world, John. And look how easily she moves from theme to theme, mood to mood. Exactly. She does, it's not the cute Tracy Wayman anymore. We're seeing maturity. We're seeing expression in her face and her whole body in the skating as well as beautiful double actions like that that two years ago, I wasn't sure that we would ever see them again. for me. It reminds me of my last performance in Brandon in 1982. I am so happy for Tracy. Salco here, the one that was, we were all so worried about slow motion. She takes off, three revolutions, very strong landed. Boy, was she happy to get that one out of the way. I couldn't, I just couldn't believe it. Well, we'll have a look at the double flip, double loop combination, and she did every jump perfectly. She couldn't step wrong, but the whole program was exciting. It was thrilling, dynamic. The footwork was fast and great. She was the crowd favorite. She brought everybody into the oh. performance. It was no way introspective. And now the march. Oh, oh, it's criminal. Oh, I don't know what those judges were looking at. This is for technical merit. 
Five fives, five sixes, and five sevens. I, I'm speechless. I guess if there's a, a reason. There we go. Okay, now, the march for artistic impression. Five nine, five eight, five nine, five seven, five eight. That should be able to hold on. Our Tracy Wayman, it's gonna take her a while to get off the ice, however, because she's still collecting flowers. Well, I suppose if we really look at it realistically, Liz did have more triple jumps. Yes, this is true. Now, we don't want to get carried away. No. Tracy, Tracy Wayman has, has taken over the championship, and Tracy Wayman is first, Elizabeth Manley is second, and we'll be back in just a moment. Here in North Bay, that was one of the most dramatic moments I've ever seen, Tracy. Congratulations, you came up under tremendous odds and you became a real champion. Let's just take a look at the final marks. Tracy, there you are in first place again. What a wonderful spot. Great fight with Elizabeth Manley, then Patricia Schmidt, Charlene Wong, Linda Florkovich, and Cynthia Kuhl moved all the way up into sixth place. But tell me, was there a funny feeling when you stepped out onto that ice? Did you get the kind of reaction from the people around you that you normally would have? No, well, I, I didn't hear anything when uh, I was just in my break before I skated, but when I came out from the dressing room to skate, everybody was just sort of silent. Like, I just walked past them and I thought, something's really strange. And, uh, but it just went out of my mind because I had a performance to do, so. Well, when you stepped on that ice, did you realize, uh, the, you know, the odds that you were facing, the, the comeback, the, the stories that had been written, the impossibilities that you faced according to certain stories? All I, all I was thinking about at that time was that I wanted to do a great performance and just entertain the audience. I must confess, in 1984, when you came to see me in Regina, I really didn't think that you'd ever skate again. Did you really think you would then? Um, well, I, I always had it in the back of my mind that I was going to skate again. At that time, I was not ready, and uh, it, it takes, you know, a little while. But, um, yeah, I always knew in the back of my mind that I, I was. I didn't want to end with that performance in Montreal. Okay, well now you're going to Geneva to the World Championships, the place where you should be. Congratulations on the comeback, congratulations on the win, and lots of luck in Geneva. Thank Tracy you. Wayman. The 1986 Canadian Championships will continue in just a moment.